Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. The topic of our today's video is how to add Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets for paper and packaging business. So I run a paper and packaging business and to promote my business, I am running certain Facebook lead ads. I want that whenever I receive a new lead in my Facebook lead ads, it should be automatically transferred to my Google Sheet. For this, we have to create an integration between Facebook and Google Sheets. We are going to create this integration with the help of amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, we have trigger in action. For trigger, we are going to use Facebook and for action, we are going to use Google Sheets. To know how to do this, let me take you to my computer screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that how can we add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for our paper and packaging business. I am owner of a paper and packaging business named Package Express and to promote my business, I run certain lead ad forms for it. Now I wish that whenever I receive a new detail of my customer on my lead ad forms, it should be automatically forwarded to my Google Sheets so that my sales team will contact them. So for this, we need to create an integration between our Facebook Facebook lead ad page and our spreadsheet. So I created a spreadsheet of the following details that I want from my customers. After that, we are going to create this integration with an amazing automation software Pabli Connect. To start with this process, we first have to sign in. So this is the landing page of Pabli and here we have two options. First is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So we we'll click on sign in because I am an existing user. If you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you will get 100 tasks free every month. So I'll just click on sign in. After clicking on sign in, we are redirected to this page. This is the Pabli's all apps window. So here you can see all the five tools that are offered by Pabli. But we'll select Pabli Connect because we want to connect applications that is Facebook lead ad forms to Google Sheet. And this says connect applications and send data from one app to another so we'll click on access now after clicking on access now it is redirecting me to my dashboard and to start the integration process we need to click on this button that is saying create workflow after opening this button this is asking me two things first is the name of the workflow and second is the folder for which I want to save my workflow in. So I selected the folder as Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets automation. You can select your desired folder. After that, I'll name the workflow. So I named the workflow as Facebook lead ads to Google Sheet for Package Express. And then I'll click on create. So after clicking on create, it is redirecting us to the most important window of our automation that is the trigger and action window. So what does trigger and action mean? So trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this, you will understand that the action is the response of trigger. In this window, we can only have one trigger but we can have multiple actions because trigger is the commander of the automation and actions follow the commands. So for our today's topic, our trigger application would be Facebook lead ads and our trigger event would be new lead instant. We are selecting new lead instant as our trigger event because we want that whenever we receive a new lead in our Facebook page, at that time only, it should be captured by Pabli and it should be forwarded to Google Sheets. If we select new lead, not be done instantly, but it will take certain time. But we want that it should be done instantly. So that's why we'll select new lead instant. And for our action, the application would be Google Sheets. Because I want that whenever I receive a new response in my Facebook lead, it should be forwarded to Google Sheet as soon as possible. And the action event would be add a new row. I selected action event as add a new row because I want to add a new row after every response. After this, we'll go to trigger and connect our trigger window. After clicking on connect, it is asking me for two options. One is add a new connection and the another one says select, select existing connection. So I'm going to click on add a new connection because I want to add a fresh connection and then I'll click on connect with Facebook lead ads. After clicking on this, you can see that I've successfully connected my Facebook page to Pabli's account and here I have two options of page and lead gen forms. For page, I'm going to select package express because this is the page I want to capture the leads from. You can select multiple pages of your choice. After selecting the page, I am going to select lead gen forms. As you can see, I have two options over here. One is contact form and the another one is transport shipping. I am going to select contact form. 
After selecting page and lead gen form, I am going to click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, it is saying waiting for a webhook response. So we will have to create a dummy response that Pabli Connect can capture the response and forward it to the Google Sheets to make this integration successful. So we will go to our lead ads testing tool lead ads testing tool and here it is asking us page and form so i'm going to select the page as package express you can select your desired page and then it is asking me for form so i'm going to select contact form you can also select any another form which you want and then i'll click on preview form after clicking on preview form it is asking me to fill in the form so i'll just fill in the form with the dummy details i'll enter the dummy details as as you can see, I entered the dummy email, the dummy name and the dummy phone number. After entering all this, I'll click on next. After clicking on next, I'll click on submit. As you can see that it is saying your test lead has been sent. So we'll go back to our Pabli account and check that if Pabli has captured that lead or not. And yes, you can see that we received a positive response that Pabli has captured the lead. Here you can see the dummy email, the dummy name and the dummy phone number we entered over there. After that, we are going to connect our action step. After clicking on connect, it is going to ask you two options. One is add a new connection and the another one says select existing connection. So I'm going to click on add a new connection and then I'm going to click on sign in with Google. After clicking on sign in with Google, it will ask you your email ID and then it will ask you to give it the permission. As the Pabli is safe, you can click on allow. After clicking on allow, you can see that I have successfully connected my Google Sheets account to my Pabli's account. And then here it is asking me some details to fill in. First is the spreadsheet, second is the sheet, third is the name phone number and email. So first we'll start from spreadsheet. So I'll just go to my spreadsheet and see that what is the name of my spreadsheet and what is the name of the sheet I want to fill the data in. So as you can see that the name of my spreadsheet is Facebook leads and the name of the sheet I want to fill the data is paper and packaging service. I'll go back to my Pabli's account and select the same. After selecting the same, I'll have to map the name, the phone number and the email. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. As you know that our previous step was the trigger step and in the trigger step we have Facebook lead ads. So we'll map the name from there only. I'll just search for name and I'll map the name. Then I'll map the phone number and then I'll map the email. After mapping all the details, I'll click on save and send test request. As you can see that we received a positive response that our details have been added to our spreadsheet. So we'll go to our spreadsheet and check that if it has been or not. And yes, you can see that our details that we entered which is the dummy name, the dummy phone name and the dummy email has been added to our spreadsheet. So this workflow is successful. We'll just try the workflow once again. We'll go lead ads testing tool. After going to our lead ads testing tool, we'll delete the previous lead. After deleting the lead, we'll refresh the page. It is really important to refresh the page to preview the form. After that, I'm going to select my page that is Package Express and then my contact form. And then I'll just click on preview form. After clicking on preview form, you can see that it is asking me for some details. So I'll just fill in the dummy details again. After filling the dummy details, I'll click on next and then I'll click on submit. After clicking on submit, you can see that it is saying your test lead has been sent. So we'll just go back to our Google Sheets and check that is the details added in there or not. And yes, you can see that the dummy details we entered that is dummy user 2.0, the dummy phone number and the dummy email address has been added to the Google Sheets too. So we'll just summarize this workflow once. So for trigger, we selected the application as Facebook lead ads and for the trigger event, we selected the event as new lead instant. For the pages, we selected our Facebook page and for the lead gen form, we selected our contact form. After that, we clicked on save and send test request and for the action step, we selected Google Sheets as our applications, add a new row as our action event and then we selected the, the spreadsheet, the sheet and we mapped the details of our dummy user. 
After that, we clicked on save and send test request. So as you can see that our workflow is successful and we tried it twice. If you have any other query, you can directly DM on this video. Thank you. Not only these two applications, but with the help of Pabli Connect, you can integrate many more applications. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli .com. If you have any queries, you can reach at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find this video helpful, do like and subscribe our channel for more such automations. Thank you.